just wanted to say that it's everything is perfect. The only little problem you have is the coffee. <laughs> so you can do. I guess it's the only thing you can you can improve for the next edition. There can be uh, a better coffee at it's these kind of conferences. <laughs> I'm Italian. Yes. <laughs> Šī konference apliecina to, ka zināšanas cilvēkiem ir, ka mēs apmainamies ar šo cirpmākas izglītību. Nu, šī zināšanas noderēs ļoti turpmāk nākotnē veidojot nopietnu programmu. Latvijas Kultūras akadēmija jau iepriekš ļoti sadarbojās ar Rīgas cirkas skolu, kā mēs varētu attīstīt cirku, cirkas mākslu Latvijas Kultūras akadēmija kā augstākā izglītība. Veidojam nopietnu programmu Latvijas Kultūras akadēmijā, integrējot cirku mākslu. It is an unbalanced situation, I think, because Sweden, Finland is very developed in circus education, while in the Baltics there is an, uh, an heritage of the traditional Soviet circus that is slowly uh, moving towards contemporary circus. And so there is space to create, uh, to make connections. Uh, it is amazing what this network is doing and connecting these countries. In France we have a long tradition of circus. We have traditional circus. And so circus is kind of um, often made to look like traditional circus, but a little better. But this is not my tradition. I'm from the United States, and my tradition is contemporary dance, contemporary theater. So the kind of circus I do doesn't look like traditional circus. And I feel that circus can be closer to contemporary art, to dance and theater. Cirk māksa ir tik plaša un dažāda. Man ir svarīgi sākt runāt par vispār par domāšanas veidu. Cirk māksa kā domāšanas veids, kā performatīvas veids. So what I think is interesting is how does circus relate to society? To talk about artistic practice in education, which was the theme. Today I also attended a keynote speech about physical literacy. Very interesting because it's a way to show institutions to measure the results and the impact of circus activities in school and with youngsters. I learned a lot from coming out here and seeing different communities because marginalized communities in the United States are very different and it opened my eyes to the challenges that other people face and uh, other communities out here face. But overall, a lot of common ground. Today I got very motivated by something I never thought before. I was in a workshop regarding disabled people and there was a new concept of having audio descriptions for the performances that disabled or um, blind people could uh, listen to. I'm not an artist myself, but I feel part of this community because I love being surrounded by passionate people. So I know here I will find a lot of passionate people willing to bring the best of themselves to provide the best of what they can offer to, to an audience or to a community.